Hello, thank you for joining me again for another lesson here in Sage X3. In today's lecture, we're going to be taking a look at how to go about and delete a production tracking record again that was registered against a work order. As you recall from some of our prior lectures, um, the production tracking is the tool within X3 that enables us to declare the amount of raw materials dedicated to a work order, the amount of operation time spent on a work order, as well as the amount of finished goods produced from the work order. So in this lesson here, we're going to take a look at a situation where um, a production tracking record was generated, but maybe we that record was generated in error and now the user needs to delete it out of the system. Okay, so here on the screen, we have an example here of a production tracking record against a work order. And on this tracking, we have um, operation time declared. On the manufacturing tab, we have declared the amount of finished goods that we produced, in this case, 10 cases. Then over here on the components tab, we have the respective raw materials and intermediate products that have been consumed. Okay, so a couple different ways to go about it. One way is if the delete button is made available to you over here, you can try to go about and delete the tracking record through this method, but in some cases, um, you won't be able to proceed because maybe some of these transactions have already been posted. So. In that case, what you'll need to do, we'll start here on our components tab, is basically to come into each component line here, click on the action button, and go to stock transaction modification. Then in here on this menu, we're going to go ahead and update this to ship field to a zero. And we get this warning message saying that you're setting this to zero. This line is going to be deleted. Are you sure you wish to proceed? We can go ahead and click OK. Then proceed to the next line. Set our to ship. OK it. And then save it. All right, so that takes care of all our components. Next, we'll come over here to the Manufacturing tab and back out the 10 cases that we produced from the work order. So once again, Action button, Stock Transaction Modification. Then in here, we can go ahead through the Action button, delete the line, then save it. And once again, we get the message indicating that you're setting this line to zero, this is going to delete in. Do you wish to confirm? We say yes. And that backs out the finished goods produced. Then finally, over here on our operations tab, where we de declared the time uh, on the work order, we can click on the action button here, go to our modify tracking. Then in here, for my actual setup time, I'm going to set my actual quantity process through the workstation to zero. Then my actual, that will make my actual setup time and run time pushing those fields to zero. So zero, zero, and zero. Then we're going to go ahead and do an OK. Okay, no more lines for this tracking. Please use the delete button, and we OK it. Okay, so then that's all cleaned out, 
and your tracking record should be deleted at this point. Okay, so I hope this um, lesson was of help to you. If so, I'd ask you to please remember to like and subscribe. And as always, if you have any questions, feel free to inbox me.